We're gonna be blowing all kinds of circuit breakers out here in space. What else does it need? Uh, it needs automation. So, okay, so the automation wire has got to connect to, I guess, the... I'm guessing this. We'll find out. Probably tells you, actually. Sends automate. Oh, 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 I see, I see. No, not to that. It's to the doors. Cool. I see. Just gotta read the description, guys. So we'll just run this up and around this and then up here where they can reach. Whoops. Perfect. No more small heads up! <laughs> no more! Let me just do! Let me just do! Too many small heads up! I'm good! God damn it! Fucking delay! <laughs> <sighs> Alright, let me see. What is this? Poker shell spawn. Nope, we're just gonna delete everything. <laughs> Other food. Food is okay. Just okay though. Wow, weird. What is this? It's still a bunch of uh, crap in here cooking ingredients? Yup. Sleet wheat grain and raw egg. I mean, see, hatchling egg, sage hatchling egg. I mean, I'm just gonna let these guys do their thing. Pip egg, whatever. I'm not really worried about animals <laughs> right now. All right, so yeah, they're they're. This is shutting off the machine, so it's, we're fine. We just have a whole lot of uh, a whole bunch of the uh, what's it called uh, cooking materials or um, ingredients. Base is fine though. I mean, sixty degrees. Like it's actually kind of chilly over here. That's okay, cool. Over here, it's a little warm, but I think that's fine. Oh my god, these dicks! Why is this here? <sighs> Thank God there's water down here. God, man, they just like pick shit up and drop it on the ground. Get it out. Thank- seriously, thank god there's like a layer of water here. Now we gotta see where else there's stuff in this crap. Egg, okay good, egg. Okay, that looks like that was about it, so please pick it up. Where are they taking- oh my god, where's he taking it? Oh good, he's going in the pipe, okay. Ugh, fucking dupes. And look right here too. Man. K9. Do, 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 do. Good, yes, all that, all the regular stays up here, man. Mavic Rock, Regolith, fucking even granite if I can. Just get it all up here. All of it. We'll put automation, everything, distribute this wherever later. Um, scan quality zero, scan network quality zero. So, how does this work? Let me see, what does it say? It says, um, okay. Meteor shower. Since automation of the detect object is, uh, is detected. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the doors. Uh, what does it see? It sends automation. Oh, it sends a green signal to its automation circuit when it detects incoming objects from space. Okay, so it sends a green signal. Which I think these need a red signal to, or a green signal to close, right? Let me see. Penny door. Oh wait, no, they haven't actually wired it up, I don't think. Did they finish the wiring? They did, so it sends a red signal. Which doesn't seem to matter because it's open still. This is a... We'll see what it does. We'll see what it does. Come on. So I'm gonna get up here and open this door. Just open the door. Just open it up. That's all I want. <laughs> Take two seconds. Too bad you can't re repair this thing. Uh, oh, it says awaiting repair. Oh, I see. We'll do this. That way we keep it repaired. I'll just say, like, they should automatically do it. Like... Okay. Scan quality. It's gonna go up. 39%. Yikes. <laughs> just okay. Scan network quality, 6%. Boy, that's junk. Reduce visibility. Well, that I understand, I understand that. I guess we had to make we really open this up. Oh, somebody's in there. Look, using. Oh, look at that. But we'll see what happens. Um, if it doesn't close, then we'll put a knock gate just to see what it does. But I mean, I, I can I can override the door. So, and it says uh, it does actually give you the doors open, current state closed. So it doesn't actually. How weird that it doesn't say controlled by the uh, by automation because most devices will say that it's controlled by automation. See. So green signal is open, red signal is close and lock. What's well, in a red signal right now? Oh, it's not connected right the motherfucker. See, I knew it wasn't connected somewhere. I thought something was weird. Damn it. Oh, shush your mouth. <laughs> this thing. Uh, let's uh yeah, we'll leave it. It's fine. It makes it it makes it sound like there's a lot going on there. Did it not connect? Oh, is it connected? Hold on. I, is it connected? We just can't see the wire? Let me see. 
No? Oh yeah, there's automation wire. Oh, it is connected. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. So right now it's setting a red. Is it because it's... Oh, the doors are closed now. Okay, maybe they built it. I'm just going too fast. Uh, so... I guess as it detected something, it's closed. So we should probably have it open it up. Open it up after a certain amount of time. Um, we can still bypass it, though. Try again. Just to see. It stands green when it is. So yeah, it sounds like a knock gate is what I'm going to need. Yeah, that part that part I get. But I just want to see it in action, see what it does. Because it's still not... You, most devices will be overridden. Like, you can't... Like, for example, this one right here says disable the automation grid. And these don't have that. It's uh, this... this it makes me feel like these doors function differently than other things. Um, because, yeah, like I said, everything says enabled or disabled, right? Disabled by automation grid, right? Um, there's an automation grid here. And... But the doors are not disabled or overridden or anything. So, we'll just... Uh, actually, here's what we'll do. We'll go and get rid of some of this stuff. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure they do work. It's just, um... You know, something weird. Maybe, you know, here's all I'll do. Uh, I'm, I'm going to just actually break this cable right here because I don't trust the fact that I can't see the cable. <laughs> so I'll just break it and then um, rerun it. I just don't trust that. Yeah, I, I think there's something up here. Well, there's probably nothing up, honestly, but I, I just want to do this just to see that it's uh, just to see to it that we at least did it, you know, try the most obvious thing first. Someone made a mess. Who did made a mess? Who made a mess? Donis? Martha did. Wh what the fuck? Oh my god. What happened to our water? <gasps> oh. There's water everywhere. Oh, the the return is, is clogged up. <gasps> oh. Yeah, our return valve is, is clogged. Ha, oh, I didn't see that coming. Um... These guys are pooping too much. I had a backup return. Uh, it's a little before that. So what we'll do is we'll create another one. You see, this should be... Yeah, so dirty water goes in. I'm trying to think of where I could just very quickly put a, uh, a bypass. Because, yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's just, just backed up. It's, the toilets are all backed up. <laughs> <laughs> the output is full, yeah. Uh, I, I need to get down here, basically. So I already have this. Uh, boy, did I really tighten this. Did I really pack this thing tight? I don't want to do this. Let's see. Uh, uh, could... This goes up into there. This escapes. This is escape. Okay, so the escape is actually going the wrong. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So this is the escape here, basically, right? That's supposed to be the valve, um, like where it basically goes to uh, to go somewhere else. But I have it looping back on itself, so that way you keep it clean. Uh, obviously, there's a little bit too much pressure there. So I think if I put a... God, I don't want to take everything if I do this, but I think just for the time being, this might be the best way to do this. So we're going to go ahead and just put a little bridge. Have a good one, Buffy. And then let me see. So it comes out here. Fuck, I don't want to. I don't want to just. Well, I mean, it'll just take like one at a time. This fucking sucks. This is not what I wanted to do with this nonsense. So we'll just we'll just bandage it and we'll come back later. Oops. Thought I had the wrong pipe slipped in. That's happening right now though. Otherwise people can't shit. Zap, 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 zap. Go, 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 go. And then pressure. Look at that. Beautiful. It's all gonna go down here, and it's gonna get dropped back into here, and just the cycle will continue. So good. I guess our sieve is awaiting, yeah, awaiting delivery of sand. I think what we should do is, just to make their lives a little bit easier, is we're going to put one bin right here, and this bin is going to be a sand storage. Let's slow things down a little bit. Let's slow things down and take in the sights. All right, let's relax for a second. Let's relax for a second, yellow alert. 
Boop. Okay, so this is gonna have just sand. Filtration medium, sand. And we'll make that like a nine. That way they will just keep it topped off with sand. We have plenty of sand, I'm sure we do, right? Filtration medium. Yeah, we have 61 tons of sand, so I would call that a lot. Gases, this. Yeah, this is what I want right here, right here. As long as this can still move, which as, as you can see, it's not. So this is gonna be a problem later on probably because of the uh, the types of liquid that's coming in. But we have so many, so much liquid in the pipe, we're just gonna have to just come back to it and just, uh, you know, check it out. Pipe blocked, yeah, that obviously, because it's still, still, this is still going over here. Wow, we just have so much clean water everywhere that's backing everything up. It really is actually the clean water's fault. That's pretty funny. <laughs> too much clean water. Too much clean water, too much oxygen. What is wrong with this fucking playthrough? Sandstone, sure. Let's talk about sand. All right, so let's go ahead and now have them mop up the uh, whole base. So we're going to cancel, cancel all the mop orders. Cancel, cancel, cancel. And then we're going to mop nine. I want them to clean the shit up. I'm tired of seeing piss all over the place and water and everything. And then what I'll do is just so they don't drop any water, any hot water on my, uh, my setup up top. I'm going to go up there and this could stay down here. It's fine. Uh, and lock this door. Uh, irrigation and, hmm, maybe it does need water. We have plenty of, uh, stuff there. I'm just gonna lock this door for the time being. Oh, shit, it fucking closed the door. <laughs> I, I was so worried about everything else, I didn't get to see exactly what it did. Lock this door, guys. Jesus. How funny. Uh, no analysis focus. Oh, okay, so I guess they did complete the first one. What is this, then? Carbon asteroid. Whoa, oh my god, there's so much stuff here. Refined carbon, coal... Artifacts. Nothing. 50%. Oh, good. I'm glad we have a 50% chance to find nothing. I uh, see. Study out of atmosphere. So use a telescope analysis, including analysis. Okay, so unlocked all this stuff. Now it's complete. Let's uh, analyze another one. And we'll, then we'll move up. We can't fly anywhere right now. Um, okay, so it did close. I didn't see it close, though. I want to see the signal that it sends. And I'm certain that it's going to... Yeah, I'm certain that it's a not gate thing, and I'm actually gonna go, or probably a buffer gate too. Have a buffer, um, I mean, it's sending a what's color signal right now? A red signal, so it sends a green signal and it closes the door, right? Let's take a look real quick. Let's see, green signal open. Okay, green signal open, red close. Okay, so red close. Um, red was the last thing that it, that it saw. So can I tell it to open up after a certain amount of time? Just go back to green, how do I do that? Let's see, I guess a buffer gate? That's just a time. A not gate? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> Let me think. Um, thank you, Hugshot. Uh, maybe just a... Yeah, maybe a filter gate. So we can put a time on it. Let me see. Route puts a green signal. The input receiving is green. Uh, see, it continues sending a green signal for an amount of time, buffer time, input. Oh, okay, actually, yeah, we could do this and a, uh, I should think about this first, but let's just do it and see, uh, and a knock gate. So basically, we'll tell it to send a signal, and if it sends for longer than X, then it will revert to the other signal. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Let's see. <laughs> Man, it's automation shit. So let's go ahead and go up here, and then we'll attach this to this, and then we'll attach this to this, and then we'll snip, snip, snip. We'll snip right here. Ooh. Red! See, red sends... And it says it output, sends a green signal to the automation system, detects some incoming objects. Yeah, so we have, to, we have to at least not that. And then we'll wait till it finishes here. Runs out of sand in 500 cycles. <laughs> Maybe. Although, thankfully, I have a ton. Oh, look at that. Oh, fuck. So, is this... I'm guessing the auto miner is going to be the next thing I have to invest in. To take care of all this nonsense. Because, yeah, this is going to drop on the damn scanner. That's why the... Uh, okay, I was wondering why the auto, what the auto, auto, the auto miner's purpose was. Because it just seemed like kind of an excess. It's like, just tell your dupes to go and dig that shit out. But I get it now. Uh, what is it under then? Shipping? Yeah, a robo miner. Or mesh tiles. Yeah, I guess so. Well, there it is. <laughs> hey, guys, it works! 
<laughs> I wish I was paying attention. I was looking somewhere else. Uh, but hey, it worked, man. The gate opened up. It was great. Uh, and then we dropped everything on here. So, uh, so what'd you guys say then? Mesh uh, steel, mesh tiles, mesh tiles. Then, nine ninety six. Thank you for reminding me. Steel mesh tiles, hundred each. Yeah, we'll do it. I guess we'll just go straight across here. We're here. No, because then we still need to get access to it. If the doors open up and drops down here, then I use the robot miner. Can the robot miner go through this thing? Under the bunker doors, yeah, but can the robot miner shoot through it? Uh, otherwise, they're just gonna keep on, um, it's gonna keep piling up. We'll do this. That way they can still, nope. Oh. oh, because of this. Or actually, what we should do if we're, if we're smart and not dumb, just to get started here. Oh my god. Oh my god, the long save. Oh, the long save! Oh, Clay! Jesus. Can they reach that? Yeah, they can. Okay. Now this has got to get dug out, man. This shit's hot. Okay, maybe not that. Maybe P9. Oh, there it is! Aha! 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 Let me see, five seconds. I guess in five seconds, then it's gonna open up again? No. Okay. That part worked. Incoming object detected. Then uh, all that stuff's gonna fall here. So then the Robo Miner, I guess, right? Um. Oh, can it still see through? I guess it can still see through. Oh, I thought that once it closed, then it can't see anymore. In which case, yeah, then I definitely over over engineered this. Yeah, there's there there is a simpler answer, but yeah, once it locks on, it's good. Cool. Even the bunker door's closed. That that part I didn't know. I thought I figured, you know, like if it's closed, it can't see. But look at that. All right, cool. Well, we'll just leave all this shit in here. Uh, it's, a, it's a little overkill, but the knock gate is really all you needed. Didn't need the buffer gate. We'll just leave it there. It's fine. Uh, now, the, the question that I've been asking, put the miners, see, uh, I just want to know, see, good news is robot miners can be placed on walls. Okay, so the, the question was, can robot miners shoot through tile? That was the question. Um, I see what you're saying, though. Create like a, create like another, you know, set of doors or something here, like steel mesh or something, uh, and then have those miners on the side. Let me see. It's not utilities. No, no, do. Uh, it was automation. No, fuck. Which one? I just saw it too. It's gonna be under say, utilities, automation, shipping, shipping. That's right. The one I rarely ever use. So, wow, that's a wide range. Holy crap. Huh. Interesting. That's a huge range for this. They can't fire through mesh. Yeah, I can see that now. I didn't realize I had a little sensor deal there. That's kind of cool. Got it. So yeah, put one on either side. Probably about the yay apart. And they'll be able to take care of it. And then we'll put doors or something there. We'll just place these just to... Just to get them, uh, get them moving. And then they'll just start zapping. Uh, obviously there's gonna be an issue with them, like, zapping shit that we don't want zapped. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just deal with that as we get to it. But at least we know that the basic setup is working. Oh, they're already done. Nice. Wow. So what's this one then? Uh, current mass, a lot. Refined carbon. Okay, so it's basically the same thing in both. It looks like some rare stuff. Artifacts. I don't even know what that is. I mean, I know what an artifact is in general, but I don't know. In terms of the context of the game. And then for these ones, we'll put a bunker, but these ones will not be automated. That way they're just protected. And that's it. And maybe what we'll do is uh, just for looks and... One night, we'll just put them on one of those. Fucking A, I knew that was gonna happen. God! One of these days, I'm gonna look and I'm gonna see, like, I'm gonna see, uh, 
like a whole bunch of weird shit built somewhere and I'm just be like, what the hell? And it's gonna be because of that. The dupes are gonna be like, okay, boss. <laughs> and then they're just gonna get it done. Oh, what did I make this thing out of, actually? The, let's see. Well, let's just go ahead and cancel. Let's get, let's get the setup going first. Uh, just cancel. Now we'll just do a dig. We'll do a dig. Dig all this stuff out. Ish. I guess I have to do all this, too. We'll get the doors built, and we'll just, you know, we're just gonna figure it out as we go along. Because of that bug is how I lost the base. Didn't realize the digger dupe was going nuts and dug into a volcano. Jesus. Okay, power. Well, we don't need power. We'll just leave it there. <laughs> no power necessary. Wolfie, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, guy? Thank you. A couple little tiles there. Good. And then we'll uh, we'll put in a couple of those diggers. Oh my god, we need so much power. Uh, I need to do a split or something. Get more power for somewhere. What should I do? Um, I have hydrogen uh, building up up here. I mean, not a lot, but that'll give me an extra 600 watts on the line. With the line itself, it's going to be pretty, pretty busy. Wow, they've actually moved so much stuff up here. It's because of because they're moving all the granite up here, which is which is a problem, right? I mean, they're gonna move all the damn granite up here, but uh, I think for the time being, I think I can live with it. How's the oxygen doing in there? Yeah, it's a little low. So let's go ahead and unlock the store so they can come in here and drop water off. They're probably gonna drop some really crappy water. So maybe what we'll do is let's see. Oh, there's no water uh, anywhere. Cool. So they did actually clean it all up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, there it is. It's 80 degree water though. Let's go ahead and open this up and let them. Um, Let's do the thing. Get some diggers put in there. This is gonna make a huge mess. <laughs> I already know it's gonna make it's gonna dig everything underneath it too. That's awesome. Uh, oh, I didn't, what did I make it out of? Iron? Yeah, it's not gonna last. 200. But boy, you sure did build that fast. <laughs> too much power it takes. Deconstruct. It's a laser beam, so. <laughs> One shot. There it goes. Look at that. Protected. Probably gonna get rid of this gate here in a minute. Yeah, this is perfect. It builds up on both sides. That's fine. Shipping, shipping, shipping. Oh shit, we did it! Oh man, I didn't even notice! Woo! 1000 cycles! <laughs> oh, ducks! With 1000 bits times two! That means they're going to 2,000, right? Hey, all right. Thank you so much. Let's open up our. Uh, wow, I, I just I totally spaced that this was uh, that we were there already. That's crazy. <laughs> Time flies. <laughs> let's make this out of steel real quick. Just to get this thing uh, uh, at least set up in here. Uh, let's take a look at the power needs, and then we'll wire it up, and then we'll just suffer when we uh, when we in inevitably blow a whole bunch of uh, trunks or lines. And then, uh, yeah, wow, 1,000 cycles. Thanks, Doc, for that. Good timing on that, too. I appreciate that. Thank you. Let's take a look at our uh, our colony achievements. New log entry. Oh, look at this. Oh, hey, look at this. I've added a new entry to my log. Second like 1,000. Hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you, Bailey. Uh, I have a C. Cycle 1000. Today, my colony has officially been running for 1000 consecutive cycles. I consider this a major success. Just imagine how proud our home world would be if they could see us now. Look at that. Look at that. Well, I know my, my home world is proud of me, right guys? Right? Let's see what the uh, colony achievements are. Alright. What, what did I get though? What was the other one I got? One year, get a room, totally, no, uh, there's no one for a thousand? It's coming for a thousand, hold on. <gasps> I didn't get achieved for a thousand? <laughs> you guys are proud, shut up top. <laughs> shut up, hook shot. Let's take a look at this, uh, at this here. Oh, look at that, remember that? It was just the three dupes. Yep, first thing you do, go up. <laughs> Oh man, the ox of ferns. Oh man, this feels like so long ago. This feels like so long ago. That little ox of fern pit that we built, did it just basically fed itself with just little bits of water? Like, man, that was so good. Kept the base clean. Probably end up moving it again. I don't even recognize this place. 
I don't even recognize this place. That's insane how much has changed. And then, I wonder what cycle is it right now? Let me see. Oh, is it still going? Okay, it just got hung up for a second. Alright, so yeah, we started expanding over there to the left to, like, uh, tap into- that's right, this is when we started tackling the natural gas geyser, you can see we did that super quick, so we got that natural gas geyser, uh, and then we started really opening up everything, yeah, that's right, tons and tons of, uh, opening things up. We built the apartments, the first few apartments there for our dupes. That took care of eight of them. Somewhere around here, once that ladder goes up to the top, you can pretty much say that it's probably around the time that we ended up losing, um, uh, losing, uh, Buffy, Buffy 1.0. And then later we got Buffy 2.0. Ah, look at that, we found the, the ice biome. Uh, we went in there, we tackled that. So you can, you're, we're basically gonna watch this ice biome, I don't know what deal with this is. Uh, we're gonna watch this ice biome just completely just melt. Uh, <laughs> probably very quickly. Our giant flood basin, now we're up in space, Buffy's dead. Uh, you can see that right here, there's a little tombstone. The only tombstone that we've ever had to build, thankfully. And then the ice biome is gone. <laughs> it disappeared already, just, just instantly gone. And uh, is this where we're at right now? Oh no, we're almost done. Oh, sorry, we still have to do the top here. Uh, you got a giant, a giant flood basin. Oxygen was good. Hydrogen over there in the, uh, in the ice biome. Because we're going to save it, guys. We're going to save it. <laughs> if you're in a menu, the game seizes up on the screenshots. Oh, oh, how funny! But we have we have enough, and I also I also take a thousand or uh, I take um a fat screenshot like every hundred cycles, so we still have a pretty good record of uh, where we're at. And those those big ass screenshots are like eight thousand by six thousand or something, so it's like it's basically full size. You know, you can zoom all the way in and see everything. Um, it looks like it's actually stopped there. We did a lot of work in just the past couple cycles, uh, or maybe it's getting hung up or something, but. Uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll we'll ramp it up to a thousand. You could that's crazy. You can see the buildup uh, at the top of the regolith just kind of getting beaten and changing in texture. So it's just constantly the terrain is constantly changing up there. Uh, it's, it'd be nice if it had some text narrations like Frostpunk. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, this is where we start exploring everything. Got the oxygen out in space. So here we go. Boom. And this is where we're at right now. Perfect. Hey, good recap. Let's take a look at the. Um, let me see. Total oxygen produced. So we've produced plenty of oxygen. Average power produced. Lots of power. Uh, average power wasted. We've done pretty well. This is good. We've done pretty well with um, with getting the uh, keeping the power from just being wasted. Like right from the beginning, the second we had smart batteries, we started hooking them up to everything to make sure that we weren't just generating power for the sake of generating power. It was only when necessary, and that was it. So that was that was a smart thing to do, and I highly recommend it for any of you guys who are. Uh, uh, who are, you know, playing for the first time or whatever. You can see we had a nice steady increase of dupes, and except for that one little hiccup there. Uh, travel time is still ass. <laughs> uh, see, oxygen consume has been steady because we have the same amount of dudes. Uh, calorie consumption, oxygen produced, blah, blah, blah. Let me see. Travel time, domesticated critters. We had a bunch, and then we just decided... Oh, that's when we had a ton of, uh, fish. A ton of fish. Yeah, the smart batteries are so good. Just the best. There's no other way to really control that stuff. Um, this is that time, was it, cycle 292, this is when I'd use the backspace command to pull up the admin menu so I could delete something. And it ended up backing, back, yeah, backfired, and we ended up losing Buffy in the process. It was a whole thing. Um, and so, when you hit backspace, it, it, it reveals the whole map. Now, I didn't look at the whole map, I was zoomed all the way in to make sure I didn't get any spoilers, right? Uh, but what it did was it added all of the critters in the entire map to this list here. Uh, and then, and then eventually, I guess they all died, so now we're back down to this. I don't know. Average stress removed, so we're fine with stress. And that's, I wish you could see, like, individual dupe stress over time, because that's 100% Lindsay. <laughs> Rocket mission zero. We're getting there, man. We're getting there. So Woovy, Woovy, so our three original folks, Woovy, Boots, and Lindsay, uh, at 9.99 cycles. Uh, skill level 39, 40, 38. Navy Devil 9.79. Martha 8.54. Donis came in later 8.47. Killing Demon 8.05. Uh, let's see. Hugshot 7.28. Chaos 6.53. Buffy or Biffy 464. Oh, I guess it just doesn't, it just removed Biff, Buffy is actually not on the list at all. Uh, what happens if I search for Buff? Uh, okay, uh, how about uh, Lindsay? Okay, hmm. I was wondering if it, wait, hold on a second, it does pull up some. Uh, for type in hug shot, I guess you have to search by name. This is nice though, I like this. We have lots of insulated gas pipe. I mean, this is cool. I like being able to see what we, why well, have a lot of drywall. Why do I have so much drywall? I feel like that's a that's an excess.
Huh. I feel like there's an excess. Um, drywall, drywall, drywall. These aren't drywall, right? No, that's the temp shift plates. Okay. Oh, I, you know, I did, you know, I, never mind. I did use a lot of drywall. I guess it doesn't really feel like that because when you're calculating the area of a square, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it just, just feels like it's not quite enough. So, um, it's the top. What is this? What is this? In case wall get wet. What are you guys talking about? I don't know, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. We, uh, we did a lot. Let me see. Maintain 16 morale. I guess we didn't do that. Print 12 duplicates. We didn't do that. We have actually went away from doing that. Uh, build a great monument. I guess we got to do that sometime. The drywall in the top right building. Oh, that counts? Duh, for reals? Huh. Wait a minute. Does that mean I could take a subsidian? Can I go in there and just, uh, and wreck it? How much stuff can I wreck in here? Oh, looks like well, looks like you got less free obsidian, I guess, if I want to go up there and get it for whatever reason. 68 degrees, some chill ass obsidian. Uh, but we'll leave it alone. Maybe eventually we'll pump it full of, you know, oxygen and pretend little RP that it's something. But anyways, yeah, we did a thousand cycles, guys. Those of you guys have been hanging out since the very beginning, I appreciate it. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you watch every single episode, I can't even, I can't, I can't, I can't even imagine playing this entire thing again for a thousand cycles, which I'm sure I will, uh, let alone watching it. So I appreciate it. I know I frustrated some of you guys with some of the decisions I was making. I appreciate some of you guys letting me fail. Uh, that's the best way for me to learn is to learn by <laughs> error more than trial. And, um, and yeah, no, this is good. Good. Milestone. 1,000. 1,000 cycles. Let's keep going. So we're going to need more power. For sure, we're gonna let the, we're gonna just let this go, and it's gonna it's gonna blow up something, which is fine. Uh, and then we'll, <laughs> goddamn, <laughs> we'll make adjustments as needed. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I guess it's just gonna fall right there. They can probably just pick it up whenever they need it. Jesus, so much sound, so loud. Da, 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 da. There it goes. There it goes. It's crazy. Oh shit. Okay. Well. Oh, never mind. That's not gonna open up. So it's fine. I'm gonna let them cut all this stuff out because it doesn't really matter that um, you kind of keep it clean, you know? So now it's gonna fall. Nice. Good. Heat's picking up in heat, but it's uh, 2,000. It's made out of steel, so it's gotta get to 527, so I guess it's okay. Nice. Hey, it's good. No power, though, because it destroyed the cables. Well, today I learned. All right, so let's redo the power. <laughs> <laughs> Let's redo the power uh, and then run it with uh, steel cables, I guess. Man, steel everything. Let me see. Well, it's not going to come down here, so all we got to do is replace the stuff that's exposed, which is kind of a dumb way place to put it anyways, I guess. So we'll go like this, and we'll come across. Steel, steel, steel. Oh, we don't have to do all those, though. Um. Oh, uh, yeah, because they were all hooked up. All right, well, let's do this. We don't have to do the far one over there. Uh, Actually, we'll go down here. We'll do this, and then we'll delete this, this, and get all this out of the way. Actually, all this. There. Uh, <clears throat> that's very slowly closing. Uh, oh, oh, because it's not powered. Huh, how funny. It takes forever to close. <sighs> Congrats on a thousand. Thank you so much, my games. Gwonkles. Clap. Please clap. Please clap. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's at 10x speed. That's at 10x speed. It took that long to close. Oh my god. Definitely want to make sure there's wire that's, uh, we have steel wire that, uh, or basically power to it. How funny. Wow. Come on, dudes. Finish this up. Let's go. Hey, you know what? Uh, probably go ahead and do this because they're adding extra steps here. There. Nice of them to clean up everything down below, too. I kind of like that. Keep it clean. And the top will build up, and we'll have these huge mounds on either side, and that's fine. This is almost in the middle, too. Almost. Wire, 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 wire. There we go. The far left one needs to get going, and then this is going to kick on and start cleaning up. Oh, can they reach it? Mm, unreachable build. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Making a farting noise. Get in here, let's go. The last piece, last piece, just to clean it up. Just so I can say it's done. Please. Yeah, I'm going to get this too, actually. One of those doors open up again. 
So they have power. Those are gonna keep going. We should see. So the big power draw is when the when the gates open. When they open, all that stuff is gonna fall. And it's using power to open. So that's where we're gonna have like a massive power draw. And I wonder if there's uh I wonder if we should sit down and figure out some way to um is it gonna open up again? Oh it's okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, okay. The game knows what it's doing, I'm just gonna let it do its thing. <laughs> uh how's this area doing? Our oxygen, which uh probably should go ahead and check on. Oh, it's nice and clean. Cool. Uh, it's a uh, irrigation problem. Let's go ahead and raise this up a little bit. It's on people's errands list, but super low priority. Oh, Killing Demon's got it pretty high. Let's go ahead and bump it up to a five. Don is a little higher. Uh, we see someone bring some water. How about a six? Oh, now it's up there. I like that you can see that. I didn't I didn't know about that for the longest time. For like hundreds of hours, I didn't know that you could actually like click on a priority and watch their errands to see how much each priority bump gives you in terms of where it ranks on somebody's actual an individual dupe's priority list so yeah that's pretty fucking cool lead holy shit oh no uh no <sighs> um so I didn't realize that these meteorites brought a whole bunch of metals and everything. The problem is that those metals are really, really, really hot. I don't have a place out here to store them. Thankfully, I don't think anybody is necessarily rushing to come over here and start sweeping anything. Uh, but that doesn't mean that somebody already didn't come down here and grab something and try to pack it away, which looks like that's not the case, thankfully. There's some hot lumber down there. You know, I love me some hot lumber. Um, there is some regolith here that does not belong. So we'll go in order to sweep that. Crispy dupes. I know, they're, they're definitely going to pick it up and try to run with it and bring it up. So I think what I need to do is put a couple of sweepers and then have those sweepers um, store it somewhere that the dupes don't have access to or something. Uh... Let me see, time to store them near the liquid hot magma. Yeah, so that so here's the thing that kind of sucks about um, you know, about oxygen occluded without without mods, but I can't find mods that do this. I looked already. Uh, unless somebody else has an idea. Um, is when an object is hundreds of degrees. Oh my god, they ended up moving everything here. Fuck. When an object is hundreds of degrees, they don't necessarily um move it to a place that makes sense, you know, like uh it wouldn't make any sense to take something that's a thousand degrees and put it right in the middle of the storage facility in the middle of the base. But they'll do that. They will definitely do that. They have no issues whatsoever <laughs> with taking something that does not belong somewhere. And then, yeah. Um. God damn it. Fucking. There. Uh. So. Uh, have you tried the dropper yet? Steel, preferably. Uh, what is the dropper? I was, what I was thinking was grab a, um, an auto sweeper and then, uh, screen doors and sweep only storage can help. What do you mean screen doors? Just a lock? I was thinking using a uh, an auto uh, thing to just sweep it up, like for example, the auto sweeper. It's got a pretty good range, right? Mm, oh, so I could get everything up here, unfortunately. E, okay, so that's not gonna work. Yeah, I mean, actually, it'll say anywhere. It just floats, so I guess we could put it anywhere. Um, auto loaders ignore screen. Oh, thank you. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Let's uh, let's let's cut these out real quick. They only have one place to go with it. These have not opened up in a minute. Did I mess something up? Oh wait, did the automation break? One of the automation wires broke. They sure did. I guess I should make these out of steel too. Which would be smart. Steal everything. Uh, let's see, so, well, that not down here. And we'll go, I'll leave that, all that's fine. It's basically everything up here. So we'll go across, redo those. And we'll skip that one. Then we'll go there. Because it because once it piles up and it goes through the doors that are open, it is gonna destroy those wires that are gonna be exposed. Um if sweeper ignores screen doors, replace the mesh tiles with locked screen doors. 
Will that support the weight of a... I know that regular doors are basically invincible, but will that support the weight of a, um... Of all this regolith that's, like, burning up? Also, this door is probably gonna... This, uh, ladder is probably gonna collapse, but we'll see how that works. Okay, so, use an auto sweeper To... So, zap, 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 zap. Grab, um... Okay, so here we go. Let's see what it does. Oh, I, never mind. They don't have the, um, they don't have the wires done. Let's get these wires replaced. Let me get this part fixed real quick, and then we'll start tackling how we're going to handle the auto miner situation, because I have a feeling I'm going to lower this down a little bit. Uh, put an auto miner in, and then just let it, uh, let it just go ham, just collect all this stuff up. Sweep it into, uh, somewhere that, you know, they can, um, uh, where they can't reach, and then go from there. They can only melt. They don't break unless hit by meteors. They can only melt. So they do break. <laughs> uh, you mean as, oh, just like in general, uh, like from, oh, you mean from like regolith buildup? That makes sense. Um, why don't you make a door above your hangar door line? That way the entrance is to the side of, and you can open that to the top area without opening the hangar to destroy everything underneath it. Uh, I think this is probably going to work fine, but you know, we'll see. So this falls. This over here, yeah, I figured this was gonna be a problem here. So we'll replace this, move this ladder. So this is gonna get, take forever to get cleaned up, but at least the doors work. This is uh, scan quality 0%, but I think once that's cleared, th those those piles are done, then it's gonna, I just wanna see this thing in action here. Oh, it really does take a long time. They can both reach the center. I'm fairly certain that I set this up so that there's perfect overlap. Tell me you can reach. Thank God. And then 18%. Mm, 39%. Wow, what a difference. One tiny tile. Huh. One tiny little tile. Okay, so. We already have access over here. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this and we'll replace that with a mesh tile. And then maybe what we should do is... Just to give us a little more room. The how much room does that Robo Miner actually reach? Let me see. Shipping or, or not Robo Miners or Auto Sweeper. It's pretty significant. Actually, it looks like it will reach like plenty far. Not quite as far as I would like. So there's like a gap there. Why don't they put pistons in, man? Give me my space engineers. Let me see. So I have both sides that can't quite, can't quite reach. I really want some pistons. <laughs> um, let me think. I can't, these guys can't go through here. If I have them, if I have the doors fall, it's gonna... Huh. Oh, it's right. Yeah, you sorry. I forgot the sweeper could go through the doors. Oh, duh. Okay, fuck, man. Yeah, I know. Sorry, you guys just said that. It just doesn't register. Like, it doesn't make any sense. But, um, but yeah, no, you're right. So I'll just kill these, basically. Uh, well, let me let them go over here and take care of this. And then what I'll do is I'll replace this whole thing with screen doors. And then, um, that way, and then I'll put all the sweepers underneath. Yeah, oh, man, that's cheating. <laughs> that feels so dirty. <laughs> but I guess, I guess, yeah, that's the way it's done. That's the way it's done. Yeah, they will build a bunch of doors and blah, blah, blah. Cool. We'll just leave a gap here so that way you can continue just firing away. So we'll just replace all this. What does that yellow look for? This door that we don't necessarily need to have freaking out. Well, I guess if I don't have them freak out, then I could get anything done. Oh, this is perfect timing. Okay, Navy Devil, where are you going? Oh, I guess he's going to go up there. <laughs> no, you're not. All right, and please take care of all this, though. Let's clean up, clean up some of this ladder mess. Clean up this ladder mess. And then, oh, actually, we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll redo the ladders. We'll just redo them all. Meteor damage, oh, that's for the thing, I don't care. There is a clay stream in a little bit where they're going to be talking about the, um, I guess the new, what is it? The new, uh, update or something that's coming for this? Oh, 
helicopter. I guess there's a helicopter flying overhead. Black Hawk down right outside. I just want to clean up. It's clear my mind. I got it. I got it. I got it. Let me, let me just try. Let me just try. Shh. Let me just try. Let me try first. Alright, so pneumatic door. Then... I'm gonna break it down one. Let's see. First, let's figure out where we're gonna put the... Oh, you know what? I don't want this thing to open up while we're working on this, so... Let's go ahead and just for the time being, I think I could just snip a wire... ...somewhere. That's weird. Let me see. Uh, it sends a red signal. Okay, cool. So let's send a red signal if I'm, uh, Even if it's not... If not connected, so... Good. Don't want to accidentally open the doors and all that crap in while we're still working out here. Okay, so let's see. Shipping! Auto sweeper, and we could just do. God, we can get low enough. We could do the whole thing, but we can't put it here though. So we'll have to get creative with the rest of it. Well, we'll just put it here. God, this is so much, so many power requirements, man. This is going to be very expensive. We'll just do just what we need in order to get the top clean, and then we'll replace all this with the screen doors. So that'll, yeah, that'll be good. And then we'll worry about all this stuff later. Uh, what's down here? Oh, it's still iron and everything here. Oh god, they're probably moving all that stuff all over the place. Oh, okay, okay, clunkers. Sorry. I'm just so used to you guys trying to backseat. You want to say stop it, please. Let me see. Get a ladder up here. And then we'll be able to tackle this from both sides. So, we'll just go... Give it a second. So now we'll rebuild our ladder array. Can't put it there. So we could get to work on all this stuff. Can they reach that? They can reach that there. And then do. Okay, good. That, that they'll be able to reach everything from there. So now we could go ahead and get this. Perfect. Sorry, boss. <laughs> you guys are fine. <laughs> Probably make it out of steel. Steel, steel fence. One more. One more. We're gonna have to, uh, oh shit, are they actually taking things down there? Oh my god, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god, is this from a bug? Oh my god. <sighs> a save bug. A save bug. Oh man. <sighs> They've dismantled someone's entire room already. Well, let's go ahead and load. Uh, let's go back. Was it 1005? Let's go back a day and see. Let's go 1004. It looks like the bed was there yesterday, according to this screenshot here. It actually looks like it was there this morning, according to this screenshot. So let's try that. The oh no, the lion. <laughs> That's the real problem, man. Oh no, the lion. 